So everybody needs to find their tribe. You need to find your club. I'm a CEO and I gotta be honest, there's not a lot of stuff that I can talk about with people who work inside an organization. The stresses that a boss has or a leader of a, of a company has is, is unlike any stress that you might have if you're inside an organization. To talk about that today, the Chief Visionary Officer for CEO Clubs International, Marie Diaz. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff, for having me. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Well, I'm honored to have you on, and um, this organization has been around for a while. Yes, it has, yeah, since 1977. No kidding, and yeah. you just were named Chief Visionary Officer. Last year on my birthday, so this is one year in the making, Oh, and this is your birthday, by the way. It is. Happy birthday. <laughs> we, might, we might have to sing to you later. Uh, and we have a live studio audience. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> All right. For the people out there who have never heard of CEO Clubs International, tell us about the organization. When we think about um, an organization that's been around since 1977. Um, it's one of the oldest clubs in the U.S. as well as international. So what's exciting about CEO Clubs um, Impact is that we just don't impact the person, we help impact their legacy. So the goal of CEO Club's impact is to help individuals, whether you're a CEO, an entrepreneur, or a business owner, whether you're small, medium, large, your goals and your desire to accomplish what you want to do is certainly your own, but you don't have to do it alone. And yes. that's what CEO Clubs is about. And uh, it's been a wonderful organization for decades, as you pointed out, but you're bringing kind of a, f a fresh vision to it. Talk about where you see it going, and we should also brag about your new website. Yes. <laughs> it, just, it just debuted, and it's beautiful. It's our, um, yes, we just launched it tonight with um, the Curly Show, so we're very excited about it. But yes, the going into 2023, you know, we came out of a pandemic since 2019, or. I hate to say 19, but 2020. And so we're going to experience all kinds of different things going forward. And so with CEO Club, Club's um, impact, our goal going into 2023 in the next decade is about what can we do, not just collectively as a group, but inspire each other, lead each other, guide each other, and help us get to another level of success because we can't do it alone. It's a whole new day and age moving forward. And I've got to applaud you because you've attracted some really high quality individuals. They all add something special and you've had these amazing mixers and we're going to put some pictures up of these mixers. Tell us uh, why that's so important that CEOs network together. Well, if we think about um, CEOs and entrepreneurs uh, and business owners in 20, let's think about last year when I took over the reins. Um, he, Dr. Uh, Joe Mancuso was the one who started in 1977. And we have over 16,000 members worldwide. Wow. It's amazing. But in 20, when um, the pandemic, a lot of the hit, the, a lot of those CEOs and um, entrepreneurs either lost their business, they uh, maybe merged with another organization, not because they wanted to, because they had to. Um, so there's all these different things, but going into um, when I took the reins over last year on my birthday, it was about getting people back out. Mm. So I started the mixers, the CEO Impact Happy Hours. And so that's what it was, is getting people to come out, um, get inspired, because sometimes when you, you only know what you know, you don't know what you don't know. But when you're with a group, then you know how to just start over, kind of rejuvenate a little bit. Yes. Because I think the 20, uh, the whole pandemic really kind of deflated uh, a lot of people. And I applaud you because you've uh, you've attracted just the right kind of people. You always get a feeling when you come into a room, are these givers or are these takers? And you have attracted the most generous people I've ever met. So congratulations for that. You know, um, Jeff, I got to tell you, I've got some amazing, here in the audience too, uh, friends, colleagues that I've known probably 20 plus years. Wow. Um, and so I'm just so glad that they support me and they're, they believe in the CEO Club's uh, impact. And they just come out and they help grow and they have that mindset. I think an entrepreneur and a CEO has to have to have a mindset of, I can do it, not that I can't do it. And so, so that's what we're about. We're about helping people just grab that again. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to call an audible because this is my show and I'm making a call. I want you to be the host. So we're going to come back from a commercial and then you're going to be the host and you have a special guest. But before we go to commercial, give us the website. 
Okay, it is ceo-clubs.world. Outstanding. Okay, we'll be right back with a special guest. Hi everyone, my name is Marie Diaz and I am the Chief Visionary Officer of CEOclubs.world. And today I'm bringing to you a fabulous, not just friend, but a entrepreneur, fellow entrepreneur. And um, she's a startup, but just to give a little bit of history, I wanna share with you that statistically, it says that 90% of all startups go out of business their first year. So part of CEOclubs.world, our goal and mission is to impact. And so why not bring some light to not just our community, but to everyone and help not just guide, but lead and inspire those entrepreneurs that are starting up. When I met you, just a bit of history, I met her, I was in my grubbies. Um, <laughs> I love the state fair. And what I love about it is going into those pavilions. So I'm kind of like a closet chef and, and I like to find all those little gadgets that I can create. And so I saw Marita and she had this beautiful, as you can see right here, jewelry to accessories on the table. And I was out to find just some unique things to put on my table for Thanksgiving. So I met her, we engaged in conversation and we, I guess we spent about an hour just yes, talking. Just and she's, talking. Yeah, right? So tell us a little bit about your, your accessories here, about your business. Well, 100% Brazil is a small organization in which imports uh, gemstones from from several areas of Brazil, and uh, I, I conceive, I design, and I plan, and I strategize with uh, experts, Brazilians, that they know the craft of uh, crystals, as, as you say. So, based on, on this concept, I decided to incorporate all the trends that they have in Brazil, because they use gemstones for bathtubs in Brazil. And, and swimming pools. And I think, well, I think I can take a slice of that cake and try to implement something here and, and bring into the American lifestyle. So, and everything started during the pandemic, as you were mentioned before. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I grew up in Brazil. I was born and raised, and I came into the United States to help my family. And at some point, um, I was happy working at the, as a manager in a law firm. I have a, uh, I'm a Brazilian attorney. And then at some point I just decided to, to change everything it was about a study. Should I mention that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was um, like a, I had a group of friends and we were, we were having classes. So everybody pick one subject and then this girl she took all the archaeological aspect on the Bible and then that specific chapter was talking about the high priest being nominated by God to to carry the Ark of the Covenant mm -hmm. and then what got my attention he needs to to wear 12 gemstones on his chest and the gemstones are diamonds emeralds turquoise ruby um, and uh, onyx. amethyst, onyx, mm -hmm. agate, and I think, well, that is something that I am not aware. And then from from that point, and it took me two years to get all the meanings and benefits for every stone. So every single stone has a a beneficial meaning into your life. Uh, and then I decided to how to impact people using the gemstones for for bring joy into your home and for your day to day to go to your office to go to do groceries is like uh, something casual the styles and and then I embark on this journey and then 
I, I was selected to go to the state fair and I was employed at the law firm until August. And then I think, well, it's time for me to get everything together and create something beautiful with a meaning, explain to people how can they have positivity, how can they have uh, positive, um, like benefits into their lives, like uh, why the green means prosperity and, and which stone can give you a boost on your career, so, and which one can facilitate facilitate your communication. So I start investigation uh, on this process and here I am. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. You know, I'm a firm believer in purpose and, and mission. And when you live intentionally, then whatever you're doing, that conviction gets you to that next level or that higher level of success. You can kind of tackle anything mm -hmm. because I'm sure it wasn't easy getting here starting and then I think you even mentioned when you were in the state fair you couldn't leave because you were just in that little box exactly right exactly. So, so let me ask you a question so I love how you have a purpose for every color right yeah. so do you feel that as a CEO as an entrepreneur yourself what are the colors that you feel impact you uh, green, green, <laughs> green. For prosperity. Yes, <laughs> green because uh, there are two aspects of green, like the emerald. Emerald is more prosperity, abundance, but there is also green for the green quartz that has a molecular level of cure. I don't go usually on the on the medical field, but. It has so many good benefits for your career, for your mood. So then I decided to, to see which ones that I would benefit mm -hmm. and which one I could exchange with everybody else to see people happy and bring joy and love. So if like I have lots of clients, they come to me and they said, oh, I need a boyfriend. Which one is the good one? So then I said, oh, your, your okay. stone is a so pink. So which one is for a boyfriend? Oh, no, they are not here. Uh, Just uh, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> the pink quartz. The is, pink quartz. Yes, it's a pure love and, and harmony. So each one has. Which one do you feel would be good for me? For you? That's a loaded question. Yes, because. I would maybe <laughs> recommend. Uh, maybe a tiger eye that would give you the strength that you need with your business and the, le the level of capacity of your business that you need. So you need to, to have courage to every day to get out of your, your house, to implement new strategies, to be on the top of your game. So the tiger eye would I give like that, that and, and gives boost on a career for everybody who's in the beginning is a, is a great stone. Okay. What about they're in their business and, you know, as an entrepreneur and CEO, you always, um, you put on that smile, you got to tackle that day, but you just don't know where you want to take your business. So yeah, what would be a good stone for that? Uh, for that, um, I would say, um, uh, amethyst, 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 That's the purple. Is the purple one? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have one ring over here. I think that's my birthstone. Yes, <laughs> it's mine too. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's a great one, and amethyst has so many benefits. So the majority of people who have some knowledge on the crystals, everybody knows amethyst. Oh, do you have amethyst? It it was my best seller at the at the fair because everybody knows a little bit. It's good for insomnia. So if you have an anxiety or anything, put some stones by your by your bedroom mm -hmm. is fantastic like a, it it absolutely makes you relax it's great but also is a is a stone and based on the color you can transmute you can go from one point that your life is going and then you can go to the opposite side and that will give you the courage and will give you the the balance that you need to face your new uh, Endeavor and the, exactly, okay. Okay. and and it will it will guide you on a positive way to get you out of your comfort zone. Okay, like oh, you need to do something different. Okay, you need the first step, and that is your stone. So, uh, so the amethyst it helped me a lot. Okay, 
on this. Well, let me ask you uh, just one more question about the okay. stones. Um, you know, as a owner or again, CEO, uh, entrepreneur, we ba have to balance family. Mm -hmm. Because we're driving, you know, new ideas, new concepts, and our brains tend to not turn off sometimes. So, what stone would be good for family? For family, uh, agate. Agate brings the balance. So, I recommend everybody who wants some peace, some harmony in your house, to have some pieces of agate because agate it gives the balance that you need. And then we all need the balance with business, family, and everything else that to, we needed to keep up. Keep up with everything. Yeah, so Agatha is perfect. Okay, well, thank you so much. Is there anything here you would like to show uh, and share with the audience that yes. are um, your favorite pieces? Yes, I'm going to show you right now. Okay, this is a kind of agate. It's purple. So... So this here, they are, they are all from Brazil. They travel a long way to long be way. here tonight. <laughs> but uh, agate, it brings the balance. The purple color is to transmute. So if you are in the size about, should I take left or right? That is the color. Purple will help you. So the agate will give this balance, this harmony that you need to, to make these transitions. So this is Beautiful. a great piece that I will recommend every every girl to wear. And um, tell us a little bit about this piece right in the very front. This here. Yeah, because I think it has multiple uses. I mean, I can yes. see putting a bottle of wine on it. Exactly. <laughs> the the builder of uh, like my business has like a, two sections. One is the jewelry jewelry line. And the other one is the home decor. For the home decor, all the pieces, they are crafted with 24 karat gold plated. And I work with some specific stones, uh, agate, amethyst, blue quartz, um, soda light. Everyone has a specific meaning. And this piece here, I have like a, they are like a family. They, they are like a three pieces together. Mm -hmm. And you can display as a decoration, like it was set over here. Also, you can use it flat and have a spatula to eat cheese. Or you can, you can display differently. It's a great gift for anybody when you don't know oh, what should I give to a person. I bet every person would be happy and, and, and just these crystals, they bring happiness for every person and they, and they exa exhale like energy. They are natural Can protection, of course, I please. It. Just so beautiful. And it's not, it's heavy, but it's not heavy. Yes, this one is so, light. So, you know, my birthday is still here. Anybody? <laughs> 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 Just kidding. No, Not okay. really. No, that's a good tip. <laughs> that's a good tip. So, yeah, they are fantastic and they come from different areas in Brazil because every state has one specific stone that they produce more. And the, what I love about uh, all my pieces, um, they are imperfect because nature sometimes is not going to make yeah. everything 100% perfect. Uh, perfect and they are unique they will ne uh, nature will never reproduce the same piece so every person is going to get a different piece like us we are different yeah and and we get together so tell us uh, thank you so much i mean these are absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful let's tell the audience and and our viewers um where can they reach you and how can they get in touch with you sure i am on instagram and the name of my account is a hundred percent brazil is a hundred a lower lower dash bra uh, percent brazil and uh, over there i have my telephone number while i'm still building my website and I'm doing old fashioned way. So a person call me, I schedule an appointment and then I show my entire collection based on, on each person's need. So sometimes, oh, my kitchen is pink. Do you have anything pink? Yes, I do. So I schedule appointments. And by the way, if you're single, the pink is really good. Too. Yes, yes, <laughs> the pink. pink arts is fantastic. 
I'm okay. just saying it has multiple uses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> well, thank you very much um, for coming on the show. Oh, thank and, you, Marty. Um, you know, you're absolutely wonderful and in, in for bringing and just having the thought leadership to take this to so many levels. It's not just a piece of jewelry. It's actually got a whole purpose um, exactly. for, the, for whoever you're giving it to or whoever's purchasing. Um, real quickly before we um, sign off, though, tell us, um, you heard me say earlier that 90% of all businesses going into business their first year go out of business. Mm -hmm. So only 10% survive. So have you ever thought of that? Have you considered? Uh, one of the things that I learned throughout this process of gathering collections is um, I started this deep study about each rock and the benefits. So throughout of my investigation, I learned that my thoughts, my words, my mental conversation, my attitude, everything changes my reality. So then I, I, I start my business in January, but I just launched by August. And then in September, I was at the Fed and then things are happening and I just keep my mind set on the positivity of the things are networking and how can I achieve the next level. So I'm constantly thinking about what is next and I try to, to get about the positive outcomes that is in my mind and how I will position myself in order to get in where I want to be. And then like uh, I try to keep my thoughts leading me for where I want to be. So, Perfect. I, so that is how I've been thinking about when somebody, oh, because there will be this, there will be that, there will be negative events outside of my bubble. And I think, yes, it happens, but inside of me is what leads me to move forward. So. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Marta, you have stated probably the number one um, resource, which is your mind. Um, you. Most of the time people give up because their mind gives up. But in the reality, the number one character characteristic that one can have is attitude. And it certainly shows with not just what you've showed in your product, but um, with the words that you're saying. So let's give Marta a round of applause. Oh. <laughs> So glad, so glad to have you. So glad to have you part of CEO Clubs. And um, I know that you're going to go far. But the great thing is that um, although your goals and objectives are your own, you don't have to be alone. We're right here with you. Thank you so much. And um, until next time, I'm Marie Diaz. I'm the Chief Visionary Officer for CEO Clubs. And we'll see you next time. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate that. You made it so easy. This show is brought to you by Real News Communications Network, your digital destination for video podcasts, produced by media and podcast experts. Podcasting at the speed of news, powered by Real News PR. Visit realnewscn.com for our podcast show library and launchashow.com to do just that, launch a show.